Hi guys, uh, unfortunately we missed a few classes so we don't have enough time to go over forecasting in class anymore. So I'm just going to make a video and hopefully you guys will be able to follow along and solve one of the questions that I haven't explained in the assignment that I gave you last week. Uh, I'm just going to solve uh, one of the problems from your textbook. It's problem 3.19 from page 102. And for those of you who still don't have the book, uh, the question's right here. All right. Um, Income uh, at the law firm of Smith and Wesson for the period of February to July were uh, was as follows. So they, they've given you the uh, the income from February through July. Uh, and by the way, the the numbers here are in, are in thousands. So this is basically seventy thousand. This is sixty-eight thousand five hundred, and so on. Uh, they want us to use uh, trend-adjusted exponential smoothing to forecast. Uh, the income for August. Now they give, they've given us the forecast for February, which is 65,000, and the trend for February, which is zero. They've also given us the values for alpha and beta. So these uh, variables will be given to you in the question, if and it should also be given in the question in the assignment as well. So um, that's that. All right. So I'm going to start solving the problem. I'm going to transpose this. Uh, this table into a column format so that it's easier to work with. So first we have month. It's going to start with February and we're going to go all the way to August. All right. Second we have, we need, it's given to us, uh, the actual figures for um, the actual income figures, the forecast, the forecasted figures, the trend, and the stuff we need to calculate, which is called FIT in the book, it's basically forecast including the trend, all right? Now, um, let me just copy down the actuals from the question, which is 70,000, 68,500, 64.8, 71.7, 71.3, 72.8. All right, so that's that. Now, the forecast for uh, February is given to us at 65, and the trend is zero. The uh, fit, which is forecast including the trend, is basically the sum of the trend plus the forecast. All right, so, uh, all right, keep in mind, guys, there are a few different ways, uh, formulas in which uh, forecast is calculated in this particular method. But I'm just going to teach you the way it's done in the book. And the formula is right here, all right? Since I don't have equation editor in Excel, I typed it out in in Word so that it's easier, um, it's easier to uh, write down subtext. Basically, uh, this, this formula is also on page 75 of your textbooks if you guys uh, want to reference it. The formula to calculate the forecast is basically alpha times uh, the actual sale, the actual income for the previous period plus 1 minus alpha times the forecast for the previous period plus the trend for the previous period. All right, so let me try to use this to uh, and try to get the formula in, in an Excel format. But first, uh, let me just put down alpha and beta uh, so that I can use that as a sensitivity analysis. So yeah, we know alpha oops, and beta. Alpha is 0 0.1 and beta is 0 0.2. So according to the formula, which uh, isn't in the screen at the moment, but hopefully you can just go back and look at it if you're interested. It's going to be alpha, okay, let me just like equals to alpha, I'm going to absolute reference it, uh, you hitting the F4 key. It's going to help me to drag and drop it down without um, much difficulty. Times the actual for the previous period, which is 70,000. plus 1 minus alpha
times the forecast for the previous period, which was 65,000, plus the trend for the previous period, which was basically zero. So I got 65,500. That's the forecast. Now, to calculate the trend for March, uh, we're going to go back to the formula here. So to calculate the trend for any particular period, let's assume T is March. To calculate the trend for March, what we do is we, we uh, take beta to the difference between the forecast of February and March and add 1 minus beta times the trend for the previous period. All right, so let's try to put that down on Excel as well. So the trend will be equals to, so it's going to be, oh, just going to do that, beta, absolute reference that, times the difference between the forecast of March minus February plus 1 minus beta multiplied by the trend of, of the previous period which is 0 essentially. So we get a trend of 0 0.1. So the fit, which is basically the sum of these two, is going to be 65.6. So that's the for, that's the forecast including trend for March. All right. So we need to find the for, uh, we need to find the forecast including trend for August. Since I have put the formulas in there, I can just drag it down, and Excel will do the rest for me. Um, so the forecast including trend for August is 68,000. Six hundred dollars. That's not sales. That's income, actually. Anyways, um, hopefully you guys understood how I did it. Uh, why don't you guys try to do this uh, with hand as well, and hopefully you'll be able to get the exact same answer. But it's a lot easier to just do this in Excel. Uh, if you guys have any trouble following how I solve this, uh, please feel free to ask this in class, and hopefully I should be able to explain to you. Um, all the uh, the essentials regarding this topic. All right, thank you for thank you guys. Hopefully you'll be able to solve the question in the assignments.